Okay, now let's get into AI. So AI is exciting and it's it's kind of changing everyone's opinion of what computers and technology can do. Um, it is it's quite mind blowing. But let's let's jump into it. So we are now um, we have added vector database capability into the wide breadth of, of capabilities that Greenplum has. And what does vector database give you? What is the benefit from that you get? What kind? Of, what can you do? So so we have to acknowledge, sorry, that eighty to ninety percent of the data we do generate today is by definition unstructured. So by Creating embedding, we are going to standardize this unstructured data, one single format. And that's great because depending on the model you are going to use, and if you are using same model for image, video, and audio, you will be able, for instance, so give me all the video, all the audio, all the image, talking about Ivan Novik. Right. So based on text, find matching images or matching videos, right? Or another use case I love is let's say I had um a million documents in a hundred languages i could search for certain topics in those documents in one language and it can match and find the relevant data in all the languages right because the the, the data goes through a transformation stage before you store it where it transforms from unstructured data into a mathematical representation that represents its meaning and so by just comparing the mathematical representations we can do similarity search and again, this is a, a huge um, recognition to the fact that this capability that we have is largely built in the Postgres ecosystem and that we're able to integrate it rapidly into Greenplum because of our Postgres foundation. So we have a wide breadth of capability that we're bringing here. Um, so PG Vector, can you, can you introduce PG Vector, Frank? Sure, so PG Vector is an extension coming from the Postgres community uh so no we do support the the release 0 0.5 uh it's bringing of course vector uh, data type and we will show uh, some example again as i mentioned so you have image you have text you have audio you have video you are going to use the generative ai model with transformer and then you are producing embedding embedding is a vector is an area of number and the uh, uh, vector can have uh, uh, many dimensions, up to 1,000. So uh, we are going to provide ability to store vector, uh, to query vector, uh, also to use some specific indexes. But we are not only a vector database. And that's the big difference. Because we are going to be connected with the uh, I would say remaining information. And we can uh, also combine with traditional search. We can combine with geolocation. And of course, we have the scalability of the Greenplum platform, so no limit. Right. So it's an MPP, massively parallel impl implementation of PG Vector, which means that you could be doing terabytes to petabytes of unstructured data processing. And it's also, I mean, probably worth mentioning that it's private, right? It's not, um, there's no data, you don't need to use uh, Chat ChatGPT or OpenAI. We have open source models that can do this data processing natively, locally, right? Sure. And if you can come back to the previous slide, because I just want to uh, to mention something. So again, we have the, the Python extension in Greenplum for a while. Now we have PG Vector. And if you want to generate embedding and if you want to use generative AI model, something maybe that you don't know is the PL Python code can leverage GPU. So if you have collocated GPU inside your Greenplum cluster and we have some uh, interesting results, so you can speed up the generation of the embedding and that's okay. also something pretty unique there's also some interesting work from some of the cpu vendors that have um, ai acceleration in some of the latest cpus and considering greenplum customers have hundreds of cpus they might want to leverage that economically to to do it in a scalable fashion and use some special optimizations that the cpu vendor is adding into the cpu all right, let's talk about this demo application. So, Frank, what did you have in mind here? Yeah, so sure. So, uh, again, we uh, include PG Vector inside the database. So, we were looking for a funny application uh, and we decided to develop what we call the celebrity app. So, again, we can start from a picture, we can start from, from a, a webcam. And again, kudos to, uh, to the team, especially uh, Ahmed and Ruxu. They developed this application very, very fast. So, uh, if you go to the next slide, 
So the service is online. You can test it. We uh, what we sorry at this location, right? Yes, uh, it's a small uh, uh, green plum cluster uh, stored in the cloud because we are multi cloud as well. Uh, so the ID behind, so you can pass a picture. You can use the the webcam. So we will use uh, the clip model to uh, from from the image to generate a vector, and then we'll do a similarity search inside the database because we upload the data set. We generate the embedding, and by the way, we use also the um, the GPU. Uh, I would say uh, capabilities, and then you can do a, a similarity search. So if I pass your image. We are looking for the three most relevant people uh, looking like you, Ivan. Thank you. 